Demolition jobs come in all shapes and sizes. Cue the project at CFB Kingston in Kingston, Ontario, where budget demolition has been brought in to take down the decommissioned water tower. Do the 500 first, get him rigged in, right? Then go over and do the 600. The highest part of the bowl reaches 151 feet, is capable of holding 4.5 million liters of water, and is being held up by nine 133 foot legs. This demolition is tricky and very awkward. Let's just uh, work safe today and uh, get it down safely. Since the military base is now tied into the city's water supply, there's no need for this rustic old structure to be hanging around, taking up space. It's time for one of Ontario's premier demolition companies to bring this clunky relic to its knees. This is not your standard demolition job, but with a solid execution plan, tools and equipment, and most importantly the right crew, this water tower doesn't stand a chance. So the biggest challenge here will be obviously the, the craning aspect of it. Um, it, it it's large and, uh, and, and awkward in size, so there's a lot of variables that we have to figure out before the lift, weight, wind conditions, placement of the cranes. So yeah, just having all our uh, ducks in a row will be very important. The equipment we'll have here will be a 500 ton crane and a 600 ton crane placed on either side of the, of the tank. We'll also have uh, two uh, 150 foot man lifts with a torchman and an assistant there for rigging and torching uh, the final uh, pieces of the legs. Engineers are heavily involved in this project as they are in many of our projects. They help us uh, do the calculations and uh, facilitate the process that we need to follow to uh, complete a safe removal. A week before, a torch crew came in and cut three quarters of the way around the legs. Now, once the bowl is secured to the cranes, the crew will completely sever the legs from the bowl. So far today we have rigged up both the 500 and the 600 ton crane to the legs and began cutting and we're on our ninth leg. Well, once I cut it free or whatever, I'm gonna probably reposition a little bit better. The precise and efficient torching is crucial here. He's loose. I'll let uh, you get into, uh, get into a good position. And these budget demolition torchmen, and uh, so you can spot for them, are answering the call. And then it'll be go time. The next step uh, of the operation is that the cranes will take over and they will do a tandem lift of the bull and uh, set the bull down in front of us here. You guys look awesome right there. It's definitely uh, an exciting moment and just looking forward to having it safely on the ground. You're definitely looking like you're above all the legs, so I'm going to mosey on out of here. 10 4. Good job, get out of there. The center cone. Looks like it's above the leg, every single leg by at least three feet. The disconnected bowl brings about a bit of a surprise. The weight of it is much less than what was documented. They hold it there. Making the swing radius extremely tight to the boom. The decision is made to stop and bring the bowl back to its original location, reconvene, and determine a strategy that will allow for a safer line of travel for the load. Jay uh, and Johnny, come down. Therefore. It'll put them behind schedule for the day, but there's too much risk with their current situation.
Properly troubleshooting situations is what sets good companies apart. It's still a good, a good foot above the cone. And Budget's team formulates a new plan. They're going to remove more of the legs to create a safer path and more swing radius for the load to come to the ground. The cranes are able to move the bowl to create a safe distance for the torchman to get in and knock the legs down to size. These torchmen haven't already earned the MVP on this job, they have now. Safety was obviously the most important thing here. There was no uh, corners we could cut, obviously, for, you know, to make sure everybody at the end of the day was going home. That was my main objective, uh, besides getting the bowl down, and both ended up happening. So, very happy about that. The next day, it's time for the rest of the legs to come down and the bowl to be turned into scrap metal. For budget demolition, the heavy lifting on this job is almost complete. Today we accomplished what we set out to do and that was to remove the upper portion of the water tower's legs. So uh, tomorrow we'll be uh, pulling over the remainder lower section of uh, the water tower legs and, and continuing to process the steel as it comes over. Demolition doesn't always have a definitive game plan. And when things arise that aren't in the playbook, it's the team in the field that needs to make quick, safe decisions. The Water Tower Demolition Project is a prime example of how teamwork and smart decision-making can get the job done safely. <laughs>